I don't care if Miller has a sack all through the regular season. If he does what we need him to do in the playoffs and brings us a Lombardi worth every penny, every penny, 40 plus years, I want a championship for the city of Buffalo for the nineties teams. And for us, Jeff, I'll tell you what, Jeff, Jeff's a poet. Oh, and the Mario's by the way. Yeah. Good, good, good uh, memory there, Cameron. Yes. The Mario's forgot about those. Um, Jeff, thank you, brother. Jeff, always putting it so well. I swear to God, he, he should be a poet, author, always well, 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 well written every damn time. But I like the point Jeff makes here is this is what happened. This is what happened uh, sort of with Von Miller with the Rams, right? It wasn't like Von Miller came in and immediately, you know, took over the team. You got Aaron Donald. You already have a, a pretty stout defense, obviously, under Sean McVay. It wasn't like he just changed everything. And I don't think that's what's going to happen with Buffalo either. But what Jeff King just said is the absolute, like, climax point here that I personally believe as well. If Von Miller comes in and does even the minimal amount to take the Bills from A to B, B being championship caliber or B being championship appearance, whatever, I don't care what he does. You know, Rico and I were talking last week. Rico had said, like, you know, you're paying him all this money. Does that mean he needs to take X amount of snaps? To me, no, I don't care. If they had a system where Von Miller only plays 20 snaps a game or less or whatever, as long as it's effective, as long as they are using him to the best of his abilities and it's working, I do not care. And like Jeff just said, if Von Miller does jack diddly shit all regular season and then turns into... Um, an absolute bona fide defensive player of the year candidate in the off, in the off season or in the, in the, the post season. Cool with me. Cool with me. Worth every damn penny. And then some, it doesn't matter what they spend, who does what every penny will be well spent on anything that this team does. If they get to the Super Bowl. I mean, think about it. Think about what the Tampa Bay Bucks will be, what they were, were almost going to be this year when Tom Brady left. They gave up, they, they, they invested their whole franchise into Tom Brady. And what did they get a Super Bowl? And when Tom Brady eventually hangs up the cleats and when they can no longer pay all the studs on that team and they wind up being a bottom feeder in the league, yeah, it's going to suck as a fan for sure. But it'll never take away the fact that they won that Super Bowl. And that's what you'll remember, right? I mean, with the Rams. They mortgaged their entire future. They gave up every single pick they had for what? The next decade? You go and get Matt Stafford. You go and get Von Miller. You go and get Odell Beckham Jr. You go and do what you got to do. And guess what? They got it done. And a few years from now, when the Rams are in absolute cap hell and they can't pay anybody, and because of that, Sean McVay retires or whatever, which they were talking about this year, when that when all that happens... Yeah, it'll suck watching the games and it'll suck, you know, for the time. But you got the goddamn Super Bowl. And if I know if I know myself and if you guys are like me and I'm sure most of you are when it comes to this team, there isn't a damn thing you wouldn't give up, you wouldn't do for this Bills team to win a Super Bowl. There isn't a damn thing. And if that mentality was executed by Brandon Bean, which we're seeing the pieces being put into place right now. If they give up everything, financially, draft capital, you name it, if they gave up everything and the Bills won the Super Bowl, who the hell cares what happens next? Yeah. I mean, we've been through the worst of the worst when it comes to being a fan of this team. Do you think anybody would give a single shit about a cap problem or losing a guy or two or whatever else. If the bills had a Lombardi trophy in the case at one bills drive, would anybody care? And the answer is no. The answer is no. Maybe in the time while you're watching the team and things aren't what it once was and they're not dominant and they're not the best team in the league, whatever it's yes, obviously I'm not an idiot. I'm, I'm, going to be the first person to say, man, this sucks. This sucks. We're not, we're, we're not, you know, we're not rolling like we used to. We're not fear like we used to. 
Yeah, it'll suck. But it'll suck a hell of a lot worse than it sucked the entirety of being, the entirety of all of our lives being a Bills fan, having to be the the the, the punchline of everybody's jokes that we don't have a Super Bowl right, that we could never get over the hump, could never get it done. Nothing, nothing is more valuable than that. I mean, nothing would mean more, you know, and, and I know for a fact that everybody would, would be in agreement. You give up what you got to do. The ultimate goal in this game is to get to the top of the mountain. And what we've seen recently is you're going to have to do whatever it takes to do it. And if you don't, somebody else will look at the last, I mean, look at the last two Super Bowl champions. It's Tom Brady and it's Matt Stafford on two brand new teams. Two brand new teams that completely built around them. Two brand new, new teams that are hardly recognizable compared to what they were the year prior. But that's what you got to do. And if you look at the Bills coming into this season, I mean, they, they're not unrecognizable. They're unrecognizable. They still got the majority of their same players, but they got a ton of guys on this team that were not there last year that are going to be starting. So that's what you got to do. And back to Jeff King's point, if Von Miller doesn't do a damn thing in the regular season and he becomes an unbelievable, unstoppable force in the, uh, in the postseason, it's worth every cent and then some.